Good morning, good evening to some of you, depending on where you are. And I welcome you to this important exposition, <laughs> you know, where we are going to be navigating and confirming all the expositions we have done in the past. It is very, very important because now the enemy, the chief infiltrator, they want to use somebody to defend, to hide. You know, they want to use somebody to, you know, run away from all the crime that they have committed in Biafra land. Now I am going to make it clear to you Today, we are going to be talking about the involvement of Simon and Andiuba. Of course, you know that I've been telling you there is an involvement between Andiuba and Simon Eba. Today, I am going to give you the full details because I think it has become very, very important that you know about their involvement. And I am going to bring you the reason why I just came across that, you know, the exposition he did, calling Soludo, talking about Wazurike and the Oba, and the, the, what is happening in Anambara State. I am going to give you the full details. Uh, first of all, I am going to build a preamble by telling you the, the real person of Andiuba and I am also going to tell you the stance of Andiuba as we are talking right now I am going to tell you about it and the stance of Andiuba with regards to Mazen Namdekani's case and I want you to pay very very good attention whatever I am telling you write it and write today's date confirm it whenever you want to confirm it you will find out we are not pushing propaganda and our program this time around we are here to enlighten you to expose you to the truth which you are not aware of we are here to make you understand what we know that you may not know because just like the you know chief autopilot always say what you don't know is indeed bigger than you so now i want to tell you a very short story just like he started it in this you know in this program i hope all of you remembered this program where he said this let me tell you a very short story let this me re remind you this that brought Andiuba into listen is Andiuba. well i do not know who is Andiuba. you are lying but from what i have gathered Andiuba served according to some conflicting information either as a pa to president olusegun obasanjo or as a domestic staff of President Olusegun Obasanjo. These are two things that brought Andiuba into the limelight. Now, if you listen to Oazrike, Ralph Oazrike making reference to who Andiuba is, when he was responding to the claim of Andiuba, that Andiuba said he went to Oazrike and he ended the agitation of Mosul. Now, Owazrike was responding to that particular claim of Andiuba, and Owazrike boasted that Andiuba single handedly made everybody. I want you that every point that Simon is making here, I want you to just memorize it and write it down so that when I am confirming, 
Remember that I have made in several expositions telling you that there is a relationship between this guy and Andy Oba. There is a communication between this guy and Andy Oba. I am going to tell you the full story now. And I am going to actually tell you for me for you to understand that what i am telling you is from a reliable source i am going to rephrase i am going to tell you you know this story that he claimed that he is telling you because those are the things he didn't know but he was working he was actually in communication with andover now i am going to tell you exactly the activities of andover during the time he was working with Olusegun Obasanjo as a president of Nigeria. I am going to remind you and I am going to tell you exactly whom he was and what he was doing during that period. And while after doing this, we are going to debunk this particular video in front of you when I talk about the account where they are using to defraud our people, because I am going to also show you a reason beyond, you know, a reasonable doubt. I am going to show you a proof beyond a reasonable doubt that the reason why they are fighting against Nelly Oyubo and all the autopilot uh, members of their syndicate, it is because of money sharing. It is because of money sharing. Now, let us start with the one of Andioba, because this guy he wants to shift blame of all his activities in Biafra land. I know that so many of you might be confused, but you will be you know cleared when I am done telling you this. Number one thing, Andioba was indeed working with Obasanjo as a domestic staff of Obasanjo during the time Christ Ngige was a governor of Anambra state. Pay very good attention. Let me narrate this short story then for you to understand the reason why he is, say, he is saying this story, turning it upside down. It is like a warning. There was a promise made or there was a request he made from Andoba during the time of election which he believed that the request will happen but at the end of the day listen to me very very attentively and uba was a domestic staff of obasanjo and during that time indeed and uba you know according to what he said about uh, what was like made a claim and uba employed many staff that worked with obasanjo in different departments and Uba pinpointed them all. Now he she went ahead and said that Christine Gige was kidnapped by Andoba, or he said was alleged kidnapped by Andoba, which was a fraudulent information. Which was a fraudulent information. I am going to tell you exactly what happened that day. Who kidnapped? Christine Gige. The man behind the kidnap of Christine Gige was the man called the man called um what was this the name of this this guy who kidnapped Christine Gige? It was um wait, I am going to remember his name. The man who kidnapped Christ Gige. It was, um, it was, uh, Christ Ngige was kidnapped by, I am going to remember the name of the man who kidnapped Christ Ngige. They are also related but before i remember that name of that man who created who, his name his surname is also oba his surname is also oba christ oba christ oba kidnapped christ Ngige from anambra state christ oba thank you very much christ oba was the man 
who kidnapped Chris Ngige. And during the kidnap of Chris Ngige, during that time Chris Ngige was kidnapped, I want you to recall, Chris Ngige went into a toilet of a place where they held him captive with a phone, secret phone. He made a phone call through to the president, Olusegun Obasanjo. He said that the man allegedly kidnapped Chris Ngige. And what I am telling you is a verifiable information. The man put through a call to the president of Zoological Republic during that time, during the kidnap in the toilet. When he put call to the president, who picked up that call? It was Andy Uba. Andy Uba was the man who picked up the call from Christine Gige. And who gave that phone call to President Olusegun Obasanjo? The man that same, the same man that gave that phone call to President Olusegun Obasanjo was the same man called Andy Uba. Andy Uba was actually part of the rescue people who rescued Christine Gige during the time of his kidnap in Anambra state. Why am I saying this? I am building a preamble so that you will understand that the information I am going to pass to you came from a reliable source. Chris Ingige was actually saved by Andoba, not kidnapped by Andoba, because the savior was pass he passed the phone to the president when Christine Gige was sitting in the toilet of where he was kidnapped. And now that was how Ngige was rescued. Now, why am I saying this? The reason why I am saying this, even that time when this thing was happening, Chris and Uba and Obasanjo, they were not in Nigeria as at that time when the thing was happening. They were not in Nigeria. So how could somebody who is not in Nigeria kidnap somebody who is in Nigeria? But that question is something you need to be asking yourself. So now, and how could somebody who kidnapped somebody now receive a phone call from that person he kidnapped and now pass the message, give the phone to the president for the president to know exactly what was going on. That was how he was rescued. Now, again, I am going to now tell you what happened. All the atrocities that Simon committed in Anambara State, Simon is trying to push it to somebody because of their disagreement. I've told you on a several occasion, when he started telling you that, Andy Uba was the one who made Owazurike. The day he started making that exposition, the reason why he made that exposition, because you know the enemy, they are always, you know, making plans ahead of time. The reason why he made the exposition about Andy Uba, Owazurike Masop was simply because he wanted, he knows that Andy Uba was a repent is a repented Boko Haram. If I may put it that way, Andy Uba is a repented Boko Haram. Now, in this regard, if you talk about people who are in the forefront to release Mazen Namdekano, Andy Uba is one of them. Andy Uba is actually in the forefront of people who are pushing to release Mazen Namdekano. And the reason why this Simon is now pinning Andy Uba that Andy Uba, you can, there are many uh, things you cannot say in the public. Would you, okay, let me play that message to you. Then while I am playing it, I will be analyzing it while it is playing. Then I will tell you the reason why it is, it is so. That Obasanjo appointed in his administration from Igbo, so uh, you know, and nobody has come to challenge that uh, particular statement from Wazurike. But now, I just want to give you, uh, you know, a picture to, kid to have kidnapped uh, Chris Ngige. 
a sitting governor or a governor elect, as the case may be, to call Biafran's criminals. This part could, you know, anger so called Biafran's criminals. So immediately he became the governor of Anambra State, you know, has done, has used different kind of disparaging words on people, even to call Biafran's criminals. This particular word, this kind of word, you know, could, you know, anger some certain people to come against you. Okay. So you don't use some word why you address it, why you address, uh, you know, youth, or why you address your state, or why you address certain individual. There are people that you cannot just cajole in public and go away with it. And I want to prove it to you today that Andrew Bach is one of those kind of people in Anambra State. I the reason why he is telling you that you, there are people you cannot just talk against and you go through with it or you get away with it and he mentioned andioba the reason why he mentioned andioba was because him and andioba had some you know talk during the time of election he he proposed that andioba gives him one billion naira during the time of election so that you know they will make one or two he will make one or two when i, I believe that andrew Bauer was playing along that he was going to release that money to him but at the end of it andrew Bauer did not give him that money andrew Bauer did not give him that money that is the reason why he is now trying to push all his atrocities to say exoludo when you make statement you should un try to know the type of people you are making statement against that you know you should not and buy is one of those people that you cannot make those statement against and go free directly psychologically he want to push all that crime they committed in anambra state in the name of enforcing it at home in the name of trying to show you that Biafra listens to him, not to the DOS. Because every atrocities he committed in Biafra land, it was only to prove to his gullible followers who are also accomplice to his criminality. Be you listening to him and liking and sharing his messages, you are accomplice to his criminality and everything he did and all the people that died with you know because of his actions because that did not work he now pushed every atrocities to Anduba, and also having seen that Anduba is now also in the forefront of those who are working to make sure that mazen namdekanu is released because your enemy sees you before you see them. Your enemy knows you better than even you know yourself. That is the reason why he is telling Soludo that and do bad this and do bad that. So that he will destroy the name of Anduba because he refused to give him the sum of one billion. It is from a reliable source from a very very reliable source a verifiable information those who knows and you might actually want to keep put a call through to him to confirm if there was any arrangement of one billion between him and simon Epa during the time of anambra state election and that is part of the reason why when he was still believing that Anduba is going to, you know, still change his mind uh, to, to remit that money, he started firing at Soludo. He started firing at Soludo. Because if you think about it, Simon Eba, he, he does not know Soludo. Simon Eba, he does not know 
you know, he does not have a, there is nothing Soludo did for Simon Eber to turn against Soludo and start every time Soludo this, Soludo that, Soludo this, Soludo that. It was actually a plan that he was making. Believing, you know, that during that time of election, that he will receive one billion from Andiuba. Or maybe after the election, he was still keeping faith to his doubt that he will receive money from Andiuba. But when that is confirmed that he is not receiving anything, that Andiuba is not releasing anything, then he turned against him. He now wants to channel all his atrocities to Andoba. A verifiable information. A verifiable information. You see this guy you see on your screen, he's gone far. He has gone far. Very, very far. Let me tell you today that this guy in your screen, his plans was to make, you know, to make sure that Mazen Namdekano died in the DSS dungeon so that he will be the one making this all his claims in social media so that he will be the one in the spotlight. That is this guy in front of your screen. Everything that this guy is coming out to tell you today, he will never betray Biafra. He will never betray Mazen Namdekano. He already betrayed Mazen Namdekano, but now he is trying because every person he worked with, everything he did was just to take Mazen Namdekano out of the picture because he knows how he, the way he attract promises. The way he attracted promises after Mazen Namdekano interviewing him, granted him interview. The way he, you know, attracted the, you know, attentions of politicians in Biafra land after Mazen Namdekano interview with him. That is the reason why this guy wanted to make sure that Mazen Namdekano never returned. All these things I am telling you, Mazen Namdekano will confirm them when he comes out. If indeed he has the time, he will have the time to do so. Now, the people who are now working for Mazen Namdekano released, some of them are repented uh, Boko Haram, I may call them. He started turning against them because the promises you know he, the promises he, you know his what he believed that Mazen Namdekano would die or if he did not die he will not come out then this thing he is coming to tell you that he is the one spokesperson of Biafra he is the one spokesperson of Biafra if Mazen Namdekano did not come out, he will now tell you he is the leader of Biafra. The same way he is telling you that he is the Nigel Farak of Britain in Biafra struggle. That he is Boris Johnson of Britain in Biafra struggle. It is the same reason why he is making all that statement. Because that was where he wanted to be. He wanted to be for you gullibles that do not know anything do not know your left from your right to be seeing him as another savior while you are seeing him as another savior just like i told you initially that when the plan of this guy is to hijack esn destroy the structure of mazen namdekano either he hijacked esn which failed then they use some of the members from the ESN trying to cause confusion. They drag them out from their positions, trying to use them to sabotage ESN, the ones that are still, you know, truthful to the cause. They were trying to sabotage them, which made ESN to start fighting from the double front. Now, which enabled the Fulani and all these kidnappers, criminals, plus the one they have placed there to come out in their number and start killing 
our people in the name of unknown government. If you remember the unknown government that we always talk about, the unknown government, they are always after police checkpoints. They are always after police checkpoints. Now, today, people, are their head are being cut off, write a letter, put it ne next to them. You know, people are kidnapped, call for ransom because some of the, you know, the people that they believe that will sponsor them in their activities who also believed that they would destroy this struggle. Those people, they actually turned back against them, which, you know, made them to start raising fund. That fund you are giving these people in the name of whom, in, in, for, you know, in the name of ESM, believe you me, that fund is the thing that is destroying ESN on the ground because now he wanted to take it upon himself to create a militia from from taking some of the people on the ground and bringing some of other hoodlums to form a militia that will work for the politicians on the ground when we, the highest bidder gets it all i always use this line if you remember, if you are amongst the people who follow this page, you will always remember that I use this line a lot. The highest bidder will get it. If you are a politician and he will be calling himself the spokesperson of Biafra, of course, he will be the one to tell Biafrans what to do. According to him, he will be the one who will tell that will be, you know, that will be sit at home here. He will be the one who will tell his militia to go and carry that ballot box. He will be the one who will, you know, he wanted to be on that spotlight all for his selfish benefit i didn't want to you know do this exposition but i believe it is high time because i came across this video i came across this video i was always telling you that this guy he is in communication with androba i was always dropping this bombshell for you to understand but so many of you you don't pay attention you don't reason when people talk you don't take it seriously. But what I am telling you is a verifiable information. I know that so many of you that are watching, some of you are politicians, some of you are no politicians, some of you put through to anybody that will know anybody that will know and do, but maybe they will confirm the information to you. Maybe if they know about it. They might confirm the information that I am giving you today. He requested one billion from Andiopa. Believing it was going to come. When he found out that the one billion will not come because Andiopa now is going for the release of Mazen Namdekan, he decided to push all the atrocities he committed in Anambra State to say, Soludo, you should watch and you, but you cannot make all many statements you cannot make you know some statement there are people that will not digest your statement in public and they would there are people who will not take it easy it was actually a threat coming out threat to and you, but and i want you to also verify whether and you, but is part of those who are working for the release of Mazen Namdekan. He is part of those now. Maybe I will call him Repented Boko. <laughs> Repented Boko Haram. Because they have seen that all his preaching is nothing but the truth. And when this guy called Simon come to your, you know, to the program and start telling you you will not betray Mazen Namdekan. I pity you who is paying attention to that fallacy because he already did but he saw that Nuzad Reba won Aga 
he saw that uh, all the plans they have made failed on arrival. The plans to kill Mazen Namdekan for him to be the Niger Farak of Biafra struggle. The plans to kill Mazen Namdekan for him to come and claim the Boris Johnson of Biafra struggle. That was the plans and those plans failed when he saw that the plans they have failed he started shifting blames but i can assure you andy Opa is doing something until otherwise until otherwise now let me leave that one of andy Opa. when he comes out to debunk it we welcome more I will just leave it here. When it comes out to the pocket, maybe we will go more or go harder or bring you some, some things to back it up. But let's leave it here for now because we are, I am, you know, actually, the reason why I am actually here is for us to talk about this thing of umweri account and the, all these things that they have been talking about doing first of all there was a video there was a video that is that was made in this video that i am about to show you right now it is a video where simon said that the people who are, you know, si you know, deleting them themselves from the website, or you know, denouncing their membership on the website, or where they raise their phone to breed criminals in Biafra land. That those people that they should start coming back because Madam Oyibo is no longer in charge. He said that Madame Oyubo is no longer in charge. That therefore, those who are leaving the website, who are bringing the money to breed criminals in Biafra land, that they should come back, that Madame Oyubo is no longer in charge. Now, let us go to that video. As we go to that video, I want you to pay very good attention to that video. Now, let us know exactly why the autopilot broke up listen to it because of the uh, part some people have taken madam oibo is no longer in charge of the website he said that madame ojibo is no longer in charge of the website now if i may if i may understand this path the website is the website which has a portal inside that website it has a portal if you understand what website that you will use to get money into into an account of an organization or any criminal syndicates you should understand that a website has a portal in that portal it leads you to pay money into that account added to that portal website does not receive money website is just a platform that is attached a portal where you will you know click on and deposit money into whether umeri account whether it is simon Epa's personal account that is what it is but on the website if madame oyibo was the one who built that website there is no way madame oyibo will lose will lose 
the admin of that website or will stop being in charge of that website because if she was the one who built the website because she he said that madame oyibo is no longer in charge of the website which means madame oyibo was in charge of the website so how can now how can madame oyibo now no longer be in charge of the website except when these things was happening he maneuvered the website which means he has the logins to the website or uh, madame oyibo also have the logins to the website he now changed the login details of the website but now the bigger question is who is in charge of the account in that website portal because he told you that madame oyibo is no longer in charge of the website who is in charge of the account that is linked to the portal of that website where you make the payment to because website does not collect money that the bank account must be involved for any website to collect money you don't save money in website you save it in bank account that is connected or linked to that website now since madame oyubo is no longer in charge who is now in charge is it alenora who built the website so now if those of you who are gullible to the core that cannot read in between the lines you cannot read in between the line upon that or while at that you are still you know doubting your your inner self which tells you that this guy in your screen here called simon is not genuine he is not genuine. Your, your inner self is telling you, but whenever you go to his program, he brainwash you, you believe him again. Because that's, the, that's what you are passing through right now. That is exactly what you are going through. Now, he told you, my Ramoyibo is no longer in charge. Who is in charge? Okay, let's play devil advocate. I agree with him. Madam Oyibo is not in charge anymore. When we talk about devil advocate, I know that so many of you does not understand British language. It is not our language. It is not a must you will understand it or speak it because it does not put food or money to your pocket. I will explain it. Playing a devil advocate is actually trying to let me, uh, you know, pretend as if I agree with him right now. By saying Madame Oyibo is no longer in charge. Okay. Let's agree with him that Madame Oyibo is no longer in charge of the website. Who were the signatory of Umweri account? The last time I saw the information, it was Madame Oyibo. It was Nelly Ofebu. It was uh, um, Latrina McPeters, which I probably, I think, removed themselves i don't know if they are still there those were the people who were you know the signatory to that umwere account when they presented it now madam oyubo is no longer in charge of the website who is in charge of the money who is in charge of the money because it, the website is inconsequential the bank account is the money does that mean that umwere account this mysterious umwere account that that was flaunted 10 months ago that mysterious umwere account does that mean that that mysterious umwere account which they you know claim that mazen nam the kanu said that all the money must be pushed into that account does that mean that the ESN, according to them, the one they call the ESN money, which is the money they used to hash their criminal militia wind, 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 which he called Adams, which he called Adams. Does that mean that that Umwere account is no longer collecting Adams' money? 
Does that mean there is a personal account created by Alenora and Simon that is in the portal of that account and of that website that is collecting the money? Because the reason why I am actually trying to, you know, touch on this is because to show you, to give you a reason that, or to give you, you know, a proof beyond a reasonable doubt that this guy, whenever he come online, he brainwash you, he took it, he takes it on surface, use it and brainwash you. Of course, you are brainless, you will be brainwashed. You will start championing his cause. Those of you who have woken up and start, you know, removing yourself from that, uh, you know, website that you have signed up to be take, putting money into. Of course, you will know. Maybe he will brainwash you. You will go back. Because... The website he is playing the jingle, the person that is in charge of the account in that website, it is no other person. If it is indeed that mysterious Umwere account, Madame Oyubonelli and uh, Matrena McPeter or Latrena McPeters, if they are still intact or they haven't changed it because uh, these are the witch fly in the night to in the morning a child died you wouldn't know what happened behind the scene all you know is they told you to donate you donate they tell you to enter you enter that has been the problem that you people are having that has been the problem that all of you are having you don't ask questions you do not ask questions. All you do all the time is when they ask you to enter, you enter. When they ask you to donate, you donate. Because you don't know your left from your right in this struggle. This guy wants to take the, the, you know, the position of Mazen Namdekano. I keep telling you this. I have never changed from that topic. That I keep telling you from the inception of all this shenanigan. Now, let us listen to him. Let us listen to him and find out what exactly is the story here. And this particular announcement has become necessary because of the people that we are withdrawing from the website because of yesterday announcement. Madam Oibo is not in charge of the website. Who is in charge of the money then? We will sort out whatever that is needed to be sorted out for the Biafra people and Omoada will continue from there. I want to assure Biafrans that you know, because after this whole thing, uh, you know, a lot of things were happening and all that. What I want to assure to be friends, and of course, the promise I promise our leader, Mazin Amdikano, is that I will be the last person to betray him. Mm -hmm. That is my number one promise. No that is a lie because he already betrayed him and saw that they have failed he is coming to tell you to lie to you that he will be the last person but he was the first person to betray Mazen Namdekan by working with politicians in Nigeria he, he he is the first person to betray Mazen Namdekan he came into this struggle with an agenda now he's telling you he will be the last person to betray Mazen Namdekan but he's been working with Rita Eze who is a faceless person who collected money from politicians in Biafra land and pay hundred thousand dollars into a, a IPOB just to penetrate? He's he's been working with them. Today only today he's coming to tell you they are no longer in charge. 
but you've been working with these people there is another thing he said here that made me that is mind-blowing <laughs> that there is a lie he said here that is mind-blowing and i am going to show you that lie which he lied of course when he say it when you hear it from him right now you will understand that it is one big or one fat lie of the century listen number two i will never betray biafra and anybody so far that have worked against biafra god will kick you out of the way so by every actions in actions anybody that betrays biafra god will kick you out of the way of course god is about to kick all of you in that criminal syndicate called autopilot god is about to kick all of you out of the way you see Chukwo Kikabiyama, who lives in heaven is about to disgrace all of you it's all happening already it's just that those who are born criminals there are people criminality flows in their blood they will always find their energy pushing them to support criminal activities those are those who were questioned in the comment section now supporting this guy in 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 talking in this in the name of simon there are people who criminality runs in their vein the blood that flows in their vein is all about criminality the only place their energy pushes them is to support evil those are the people supporting him they are all criminal syndicates now he betrayed Mazen Namdekanu just to gain a spotlight to answer Negal Farak of Biafra. <laughs> wow. Wow. Listen very attentively. Madam Oyibo is no longer in charge of the website. And in few days to come, Umada will be here hmm. to make some pronouncement in support of this. And this has become necessary. So if you know that you have cancelled your, your, your subscription on, on that website, you go back and put it back there. And then... You will be contacted as well. Uh, for some of you who may be having some things in your mind. Those that have canceled their subscription in that website. I want to inform you. It is the spirit of Biafra that is leading you and warning you. And now that you have cancelled your, your subscription in the support of the people who are causing mayhem, destabilizing the activities of the, you know, the man on ground, known to be our mem our, our ESN, not adams we are not talking about adams we are talking about esn because their militia group is called adams which he confirmed now i want you to pay very good attention if you have cancelled your subscription you take yourself back that will be the end of you and your destiny Listen and listen good. It is something that push you to cancel it because I know that he, your ears are blocked to hear the truth when it is being told. 
if you go back to that Chukwo Kikabiyama is seeing you as those who were ignorant, supporting the criminal activities in Biafra land, ignorantly, unknowingly. But if you don't know, now you know. Any money you push into that account to support those criminals, believe you me, it is one step to your destruction. It is one step to your enslavement. It is one step to your poverty. Believe it or not. Check your history. Ever since you started putting money in that account. How, how are you? Are you good? How are you? How is where that money is coming from? Just I want you to just sit back. Think about it. Ever since you started being in connection and putting money in that account that is hashing people, killing, beheading people, ask yourself, how has your life been? Has your life been okay? Or has your life been messed up? Maybe you might not even know because you don't pay attention to yourself. How can you then pay attention when a truth is being told? Now, listen. To ask, we are going to have question and answer where this whole thing will be addressed. But I want to tell you that Biafra is more than a spirit. It's more than a spirit. <laughs> and once okay. you are at the right part, <laughs> the Biafra spirit will lead you. Biafra is more than a spirit. If Biafra is more than a spirit, what is it then? It shows you that people who does not understand what, you know, trying to join positive energy with a negative one it will always you know clash biafra is a spirit which is energy biafra cannot be more than a spirit biafra is a spirit when it possesses you you will not know when you are doing what you think or what you believe you might not be able to do before. You might not know when you are doing it. Consciously and unconsciously, you will be doing it. You will be, a, be, you will be exposed to some knowledge that you don't even know that you will be able to be exposed to. That is the energy. That is the spirit called Biafra. And that is the reason why they want to destroy that spirit and call it autopilot. That is the reason why they want to destroy that spirit and call it you do. Now, those who are reporting this page, you will die and you will go to the bottom left speed if you click that button again i will curse you and curse your whole generation because you are recruitment of lai mohammed you are not biafra because those who belong to the truth will always be exposed to the truth if you report that page one more time I am going to lay a curse on you. And that curse is not going to take long to manifest in your life. Of course, you know Biafra is a spirit. Now, let us actually continue with what we are saying here. Listen to him. And this whole thing, everything we are doing is a record. 
Like I told Bear France yesterday, that when Mazinam the cannot come out, mm -hmm. everybody will give account. Okay. Here, let me clarify it. Let me clarify it. When Mazen Namde Kano comes out, everybody will give account. Do you know what he's trying to do now? He is trying to now use whichever account he will attach to the website when he tell you that uh, Oyibo is no longer in charge because all the money of IPOB which they have stolen, they have squandered it, share it amongst their Adams, share it amongst every criminal that is in support of them, that is inside their carcass of their criminal syndicate in the name of autopilot. Now he wants to start, you know, keeping history of that money you are going to put in that website. When he is keeping it, he will say to Mazen Namdekan, if eventually <laughs> or Mazen Namdekan will have time for him to give account. He will say to him, this is what I have realized when I become in charge of this account collecting for Adams. Or you will claim that he was collecting this money. He does not know it was not for ESN. It was Madame Oyibo and Donnelly of who misguided him. But believe you me, he will say, this is the one I collected single-handedly. This is it. Because he is trying to build, you know, a bridge. He's trying to build a bridge that will in enable him to maneuver. That will make him to look, to appear clean in the sight of Mazen Namdekano. That is the bridge he is building right now. Which is going to fail on arrival. We will make sure of that. All his criminal activities, his end has come. His end has come. Now, let's say, let's continue to listen. He say he will give account. Everybody will give account of what they have done. We are waiting to, for him to give account. Because he believed that since he can brainwash so many of you, Biafrans, that he will also brainwash Mazen Namdekano when he comes out. That's his plan or his thought. Now, he does not know that when Mazen Namdekano is in DSS dungeon, he receives messages. The spirit that is leading him in this struggle gives him messages. He comes, he comes, he comes that he want to actually blow up. He has a lot of messages. Mazen Namdekano has a lot of messages. Divine messages. I am not talking about gossip. I am not talking about they say they said. We are talking about the divine message. And Mazen Namdekano will be released on Thursday. Mazen Namdekano will be released on Thursday. I am saying it for the enemy to start fascinating their, their the history or the account that they will give. Make it quick. Make it today. Because there is no much time. You need to make that account very fast because it's coming out. Now, let us continue to listen. of what they have done. How you have been able to manage the task that was given to you. Whether you have actually sabotaged the struggle or not. Whether you try to preserve the legacy or not. 
I want to make it very clear today. So in your mind, in your eyes, in your brain, you believe that he is actually, you know, keeping the legacy or maintaining the legacy of Mazen Namdekano. Mazen Namdekano is not a liar. He is not a manipulator. He is not a criminal. Mazen Namdekano is not somebody who is looking for relevance at all, at, regardless of what it will take him to gain that relevance. But when you look at this guy in front of your screen, you will tell yourself, is there any similarity between the activities of Mazen Namdekano? and this guy's activities he's talking about those who are maintaining a legacy when his job was to destroy his job is to destroy the legacy of Mazen Namdekano to incriminate the legacy of Mazen Namdekano his job is to call the legacy of Mazen Namdekano criminal in a reverse psychology that is his job whatever he is trying to portray today is to gain your sympathy for him to face his judgment because his judgment is very soon his judgment time the time of reckoning is soon this week going on it's time for his judgment this week going on from now is the time of his judgment that is the reason why i am giving you a position that you might you did not expect from me i am giving you a position that you have never believed you will hear from me that is the reason why i started with andy Oba's story because justice must be served he wished ill of mazen namdekano he believed that mazen namdekano is not coming back so that he will stand on his glory so that he will stand on his glory to start to incriminate everything that's why he started making plans to sideline mazen namdekano's family family wife structure and yet he tell you he is nurturing and maintaining the legacy of mazen namdekano we are going to find out this week henceforth let us continue listen to him For those who we are not, it is not the time for gossip. And when you talk about Omoada, Omoadaka, if you look around him, you will find out that almost all the men that are working with him, they are no longer there. The only people that are there are people who are looking for husband. Because the man, their eyes will open faster. Except the, the ones that they, he knows that if you mention, if he mentioned their name, the ones he's working with, undercover. If he mentioned their name, that all of you who are who are gullible will become, you know, will become wise. Those are the only people that is a, you know within or but on the on the behind the scene those are the people now let's continue Omoada that he is talking about is actually to justify the account the new account if indeed madame oyubo is no longer involved 
Ask yourself, why is it that it is only when Mazen Namdekano Bell application was filed, only when Mazen Namdekano's Kepu Kepu of being released comes out, autopilot divided, they now know that some people are hashing criminals, he now know that some people are creating Adams. Ask yourself that. He never knew in the last 10 months, more than 10 months actually, he never knew. Only this this month and that he started knowing that those that he's been working with in the same syndicate, they are now the ones who try to bring IPOB down. And you've been working with them. Just hiding yourself away from promoting you do. Because you know if you promote you do. People will know exactly what you are doing because, you know, in that regard, they need you, you need them. That time, they needed you, you needed them because you have a big platform which you will be able to use to pass their propaganda. And they have this the, the money of IPOP and some sources where they will get more. Your people were marrying, working together. It was, everything was okay. Immediately when they announced that the file, Bell application has been filed, now you realize that all these people you've been working with, because now they've been giving you assurance. He's not coming out. They've been giving you assurance. Now you have realized that Madam Oibo and Nelly, among others, they have come to destroy IPOB and legacy of Mazen Namdekano. But you were in the forefront of their activities, you know, labeling the Mazen Namdekano's families, criminals, calling them Fulani boys, calling their mother indirectly an infidel, do you know when you call Emmanuel Kano a, a Fulani boy? You are calling the mother automatically an infidel. That is exactly what you, you did. So, I want you, um, the caller, please uh, call me. Call me in, um, call me back. I won't be able to take this call. This call is very, very important, but I want you to maybe jot what you want to, the, the, you know, what you want to contribute, jot it down so that you don't forget. Okay. Jot it down so that you don't forget. Please bear with me. I know that I, I, I need that call, but jot it down so that by the time I will call you back, you will still remember what you want to contribute. Please bear with me. Now, all this, you called him a fool and a boy, which means the mother to the one you call your, your that he is your disciple, is practice infidelity. While with him, Mazen Namdekano's father. If you don't have regard for anything, structural, um, administrative structure, built by Mazen Namdekano or implemented by Mazen Namdekano you should at least have respect for family legacy legacy of Mazen Namdekano's late parents you did not have regards for any of them because you want to call that family a criminal while you believe that uh, you know you will sit there to, you know, prove, tell Biafrans that you are chosen and you are working to restore Biafra, that you are the only one who will give them Biafra. That was your plan. That is the reason why you want to label everybody who is, you know, truthful to the cause of the restoration of Biafra. Had it been you came into this struggle or after Mazen Namdekano was, you know, kidnapped, that you were actually doing what you were doing, 
you know, prior to the time when he interviewed you, you were still carrying out those things you were doing without trying to sabotage any structure, without trying to sabotage any family members of Mazen Namdekano, without, you know, showing us whom you are. I don't think that somebody like me will be here talking about you because you are irrelevant. Personally, to me, you are irrelevant. For me to have time by my data to come and talk about you. Of course, you see, I did not... There is, I did, there is no monetization. There is no, yeah, more, there is no give me star here. There is no super chat here for you to say it is the reason why I am talking about you. Even if there will be any monetization on any of my media account, that will be after Mazen Namdekanu is out. Because if you are making money with the campaign that Mazen Namdekanu is inside, instead of you sacrificing because he is also sacrificing, you are making money on, in his absence. In the name of a super chat. That means that is what you are looking for. Because it multiplied, it increased. In his absence. And that is the reason why you come online even in the 12th midnight. Had it been there is no you know, returns from that, you wouldn't have done that. You wouldn't. The reason why I am talking about all these things is for people, for you guys who are actually there talking rubbish, that this guy, this guy, that guy, that... I am not your mate. I am not your mate. The fact, the reason why you will be on the other side writing junk is because I am actually here to grant you freedom from your manipulator, freedom from your oppressor, freedom from the criminals you call leaders. Without you paying me, that is the reason why you have the audacity to come and write junk. But I don't care. It motivates me. It is my drive whenever you write that junk. When Jesus Christ was presented, they didn't recognize him. They did not recognize him. His people, own people. That's why I am not surprised. But I keep preaching so that what happened during the time of Jesus Christ will not happen to us in this era. The only person you will recognize is a criminal amongst you. Because they present something that, you know, that is the reason why the wise person say, all that glitters are not gold. All that glitters are not gold. Everything I am doing right here is a sacrifice because Mazen Namdekano was injustices they met on Mazen Namdekano, who is fighting for my freedom, for freedom of my next generation. That is the reason why I decide to make this sacrifice. When I was preaching Africa, I don't need, I didn't need a studio. I never needed a studio. When I was preaching African revolution, African decolonization, I didn't, I never needed a studio because it is a message that Chukwu Kikabiyama gives to me. I give it to the people. Raw, the way it is. I don't need to bring this in, bring that in. I just needed to preach the gospel for freedom of Africa. So that's how it is. I actually got a studio paying for it because 
I notice there are enemies within and without. We need to debunk them with their activities. We need to expose them with what they present. Because that is the only way you will be able to open the eyes of our people. Just like they are fronting that Mazen Namdekano doppelganger is going to be created. Because they know his release is imminent. Because that is their last plan. So that he, if it did not work, they will be keeping faith to their doubt of wars to work. Because they know that there is nothing else they can do. They have, we have proven to the world beyond any reasonable doubt that Mazen Namdekan committed no crime known to any law of any countries in the world. But rather, there are the factors and there are the jaw. Let us continue to listen to him. Then we will find out exactly what is going on. Continue. I don't have time for that. I don't have time for gossip. But there is a need for me to address one issue. A lot of people, for those who don't have anything to do on social media, a lot of them are saying that Simon Ekpa was part of it too. I watch Listen. them and I laugh. Listen attentively. Yes, Simon Ekpa is part was part of it he started there was part of the he's part of everything i looked at them and laugh because what you don't know is bigger than you these are inconsequential people but because uh, of uh, some people i will make it very clear i have never been part of it too i did not know when he too was pronounced in any program in the first place okay this guy it is a proof and evidence to show you that this guy is a liar he is a liar those of you i didn't have time to search for that clip video where he made but i will bring it i will bring it if he doesn't delete it you know from this moment where he told you that Mazen Namdekano preached about he do and gave assignment to the people about he do that it was only Nelly that Nifala de Moon it was only a woman that was I am quoting him word by word I am quoting him according to verbatim according to the way he said it he said it was only Nelly or Febu who took it upon herself to go and make a research about you do that now Nelly Ofebu is now preaching you do it becomes problem to everybody the Mazin Namdekanu was the one who said talked about you do which I came here I also debunked it I said to you the Mazin Namdekanu said and I will quote him the same way he quoted it Mazen Namdekanu said that there is something, a relationship between our people in Oduduwa land that you will find it out in the border in Odu Igodomi Igodo. That was how I, I actually debunked his lies when he came to support Nelly of Ebu. I will still dip that deep, deeper to you know, recover that video if he does not if he does not have it in his youtube page i will have it in my archive i hope so many of you remember when he said nelly took it upon herself to discover what you do is like but today he's telling you he's never talk, um, he's never in support of anything about you do so i want you biafrans that are watching me now 
to be the judge with all the claims of this guy called Simon. The way he is brainwashing you day by day because he believed that after one week, just like he always say, that if he, whatever he does, after one week it will vanish, people will talk about it on the media, it will vanish. But look at it. Let us hear it from him again. Let us hear what he said here again so that you will understand. I laugh. Because what you don't know is bigger than you. These are inconsequential people. But because uh, of uh, some people, I will make it very clear. I have never been part of it too. Mm -hmm. I did not know when Idu was pronounced in any program in the first place. Did you hear that? He did not know when Idu was pronounced in any media platform in any in the first place. But he came to the bunk to tell you that it was the message of Mazen Namdekan, which he was talking rubbish that day. I will dig out that video. I will dig it out. If there is any person who is audience, who is under the influence of my voice, who still have that video. If you still have that video where he said that Nelly took it upon herself to research about you do kindly forward it to me, to my WhatsApp or to my Facebook inbox to my page inbox forward it now then i will play it otherwise i will dig it out if i don't find it in his platform i will find it where i debunked it so let us continue i have never ever been part of anybody or any group where people were discussing we are going to start saying it do i have never and this will be the last time i'm going to address this i have not i have never participated in any meeting with anybody where somebody say we are going to start saying it do before they came to the public lie i was having a program like this Listen. One faithful day. Listen. And I begin to see people making comment here. He do, he do. I was like, where is the do coming from? And of course. I wish, I wish I noticed because where I pinpointed was with the account where he said the website is no longer in charge. Madam Oibo is no longer in charge. That was where I capitalized. Had I heard this path, I was going to dip look for that video and bring it it should be in my archive even but uh, the most important thing is that i did not label it which i have to look for it it will take time that's the reason why i will not be able to show it to you but i will post it on my page very soon and i will reconfirm it in my next program maybe tomorrow or maybe this evening i might even come back because of it if i find it this evening because we don't do propaganda we don't lie we speak it the way it is listen to it you all will never believe that but this is a fact and i was reading a comment where people have come here to attack me about it do i don't know anything about it <laughs> and until many days many weeks mm -hmm. before listen. i knew listen that nelly of has gone somewhere in their program to announce it and let me also tell you that i never watched a video where they say nelly of say biafra is a scam biafra is dead and all that i have never seen that video but when I said it here, people, you know, some of this inconsequential uh, being say, ah, how can you be, how, why are you not watching the video of the people that you are working with? 
I didn't see them. <laughs> and let me tell you, I have no reason to lie. Wow. You are a liar. I don't have any reason to lie. I don't have any reason to, be, to deny. You have, have every reason, reason to lie. The same reason why you wanted Mazen Namdekanu to stay in there or to die. You have a reason because you want to be relevant. You want to be on the spotlight. You want to be the one all the politicians will be calling and be negotiating with. That is the reason why you are lying. You have every reason to lie. Stop it already. You have every reason to lie. This is uh, all these things are they are for free. He is not doing it under oath. They are for free. That's the reason why he will tell you he's not he does not have any reason to lie. How are you going to find out? Of course, you are not even trying to find out because your brain is not working. Your brain is not working. So you wouldn't find out. That's why I am here to make you find out. Listen. There is nothing you can do me. <laughs> of there is nothing you can do. He confirmed it. But I, I was never part of it. And when this whole thing was going on, I never knew. It is always on my program here. People will come to attack me before I know what happened. So, and the way they say, if anybody have any voice recording anywhere, where Simon Ekpa was discussing with somebody about it too, before it was announced, let the person come forward. When the issue of it too, I made a comment. I said, I don't have problem. If people come to be preaching, you do. I never have problem with that. Mm -hmm. I appeared on their radio when they were launching the radio of you do, okay. which is a, as a civilized man, I can appear anywhere. I can even appear on radio of Fulani. First of all, he didn't know when they announced you do, but he appeared in their radio when they announced, when they launched their radio. And he stand now buttering it up. You can even appear in Fulani platform. He can even appear in anybody's any platform as long as you are not against Biafra. So you saw he do when he was announced that they are not against Biafra. But today you are denying it. You deny it, you accept it. That is what you are doing here. You now, you cleared yourself with a lie. You incriminate yourself with the confirmation of what I said. That's how you do. That's what that is the reason why I always want to bring it back in front for everybody to be listening to you. Because maybe when you are brainwashing them, they will not understand. They will be busy looking at all this shiny shiny at the back of you. That is that is what is making them carry their way. Looking at all these candles you put in next to you. That is these things they have psychological impact on you when you are watching his lies. Listen attentively. Does not make me a Fulani supporter. I appeared on the Do Radio as part of the game. game. Does not mean that I was part of Do or I supported Do. As part of the game. <laughs> Did you hear that? He appeared there as part of the game. Which means then he knew they were playing games with him. They, you know, every shenanigan they, you know, they created. You know, they know it was a shenanigan. They know it. He knew, and he know it was a game. They're playing the game, playing the game to know if they will sideline Mazen Nam the Kanu. To know if it is true, he do they will sideline Mazen Nam the Kanu or through autopilot or you know they he is all over the place knowing that they have recognized him as the front man who they will use as their leader whether they actualize it by you do or they actualize it through autopilot as long as they remove Mazen Nam the Kanu out of the picture that it is a win-win situation for him that is exactly the reason why he was sitting in the middle. That is what what made trigger some, you know, one of our strong comrades asked me, why do you think 
that this person is preaching autopilot, the other one is preaching you do autopilot. I told him because they do not want to sink once. This is it. They do not want to sink once. Listen. A serious liar. Remember that he started, how can a human being you call a truthful and honest man? He started with Photoshop. He started with Photoshop just to find the relevance. With Photoshop just to find the relevance. After Photoshop, Claiming where he is not, claiming whom he is not, tell you he's a military, he's a he's a he is a is a lawyer. When we cut him up out of the military one, he he sent one idiot from Russia, which is probably from Finland, calling with the Russia number because they have border. To, to call and say, Simon never say he's a military, he said he's a reserve bench military. Of course, so many of you recall on that program that he's a reserve bench military. The day I debunked him about me being a military, he's a reserve bench military. That was what that, you know, the idiot he sent to call said. He's a reserve bench, military aside, now claiming lawyer as a legal person as a legal man because one day he might come and tell you i never say he's a lawyer that he never uh, say that he is a lawyer one day one day he might come and tell you he might come and tell you that he never said he's a lawyer let us continue own is that so long as you are not against Biafra and Mazinam the canon, I will work with you. I will work with anybody until everything begins to get more clearer. Mm -hmm. So the declaration of Idu was a direct attack on Biafra and Mazinam the canon. Why did I not listen to this and bring those videos? Declaration of Idu, when we were screaming on top of our voice, telling you that Idu is what they created to use it to replace Biafra, because they know that Mazin Namdekanu, to replace IPOB rather, they know that Mazin Namdekanu is everywhere around IPOB. There is nothing they can hijack IPOB and take it in the name of IPOB and continue in the structure of IPOB because they know that Mazin Namdekanu is all over the place. That is the command and control, one central command. We screamed on top of our voice that they are trying to, you know, steal this. Uh, um, struggle, destroy IPOB in order to achieve it. Do who is calling? Please call when I say it is time for calling. We are not taking calls now. Please call when it is time for calling. It is a distraction to call in the middle of the show. Please call when I said it is time for call. Please. Is it on WhatsApp? Inbox. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Now. How, did, how come all of a sudden they begin to talk about it? Why did they begin to talk about it? Did they find anything out? And who gave them the assignment? Hold on. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, oh, this caller. Thank you. You did it. Let's bring it to the public. Let's bring it to the public. Because when we talk about it, 
it will look as if we are talking rubbish we don't sell propaganda we are honest people i have no reason <laughs> i am not collecting super chat just to make my propaganda to be sweet let me bring it to you before we proceed with that listen attentively let's go there how, did, how come all of a sudden they begin to talk about it why did they begin to talk about it did they find anything out and who gave, gave them the assignment okay. passing on the candidate now let us continue okay How did how come all of a sudden they begin to talk about it? Why did they begin to talk about it? Did they find anything out and who gave them the assignment? Mazenam the candidate. Now let us continue. He said that they they find out about you do who so, gave them. It was Mazenam the can. There is a relationship between the Igbos and the Yoruba people that will be found if we dig deeper. So it's not just for me, it's Thank for you. everybody. Thank you. We want everybody, every scholar, to go and keep digging deep into Bini Kingdom. Oh. How everything happened. Do you know why I'm saying this? Oh. Can you hear me? Is it there? You can hear me, yes. The, 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 um, the speaker, the speaker went off. Let me try you know to I'm extract saying? it. You know let me try to extract this video from the inbox so that i will be able to pause and play it because once i go out it comes out okay now i have downloaded it let me put it on send it to desktop then present it to you raw oh there are many people who are in this struggle who are following up i will bless all of you for being diligent to the cause of this struggle now i have the video raw let me bring it let's debunk it they begin to talk about it why did they begin to talk about it did they find anything out and who gave them the assignment mm -hmm. the candidate. now let us continue did they find anything out yes who gave them the order Mazenam the Kano did he is now talking about when we started debunking Nelly with his her Edu initiative and he do to hijack that was his response. Now let us continue. You will hear further. So, um, there is a relationship between the Igbos and the Yoruba people that will be found if we dig deeper. So it's not just for me, it's for everybody. We want everybody, every scholar, to go and keep digging deep into Bini Kingdom. How everything happened. Do you know why I'm saying this? Can you hear me? Is it there? You can hear me. Yes. The 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 the, the, um, the speaker the speaker went off. Do you know why I'm saying this? Do you know why I'm saying this? Because the the all the obese we have. We have a relationship with the kingdom all the way to the view of ownership. Okay. Mm. Do you understand? Yes, sir. And if if the if the establishment of the Bene kingdom is as a result as a consequence of Yoruba input, if Yoruba is responsible, which we all know historically responsible for Bene kingdom, and Bene kingdom, all the obese you have in our land all the way to the view of our nature there are the rumors that answer will be the best answer Igwe or Eze. okay if there is a connection between the thrones that you have the view of our nature the one in in uh, in album and all the rest of them all the way to the upper of Benin, then there is a link but as i said it's something we're going to research very very deeply and very very heavily okay 
but I think that is the wrong somewhere. And and the God God is the key. That key that opens the key is what will lead us to the truth. And as somebody commented now. Uh, somebody was writing on my page right now that they, that he believed the reason why Jaffa hasn't come yet is because the whole truth hasn't been revealed. Okay. And that yes, truth is in a dust. That truth is going to be in economic good. That key that opens the key is where the whole world is going to know the final truth, and then after that, Jaffa will come. Okay. I believe that very strong. The video is not complete. The video is not complete. I, I need the place where he the, he started explaining what Mazen Namde can mean. Because here he's only trying to make people believe in Idu by telling people that it is Mazen Namde Kano who gave the order. It was Nelly who carried it out only. So she was, he was praising Nelly and was supporting the Idu initiative. So I want to the complete of this video where he said it because he said it and he, i remember it purely where he said that it was only nelly it is missing here a lot is missing here it was only nelly who took the carried the cross upon herself to find out the assignment given to all of you and now she's talking about it your people are criticizing her, her that is where i am looking for that path is very very important it is very very important so if anybody has you know if you have such thing where it is complete kindly it is very very necessary of course, you have heard. Let me play it from the beginning. You will understand again what how what he meant before we we, we see if we are going to get to the rest of the video. How did how come all of a sudden they begin to talk about it? Why mm -hmm. did they begin to talk about it? This was when he was actually trying to sideline the DOS because we keep lamenting, we kept lamenting that he do is what they have flaunted to you know to use it to hijack ipob activities because they know ipob is covered with the presence and the you know you know of mazenam the canon they, they everywhere energy of mazenam the car is all over ipob that's why nelly tried to say china samoru when he mentioned simon or her break rules when he was trying to smuggle Simon into the structure, it didn't work. Now Idu comes into the picture. That's when they chose Idu. So that they will sabotage DOS, sabotage everything, level IPOB terrorists, in order to say Idu has come to rescue these people called terrorists. Idu has come to continue where IPOB stopped. That was the plan. That was the plan. So you have at least heard, heard exactly what he is saying here. Listen again so that you will understand it further. Here he is trying to say we began that all of a sudden we started talking about you do, talking about you do, you know. But Mazen Nam the Khan was the one who gave the assignment to everybody. But Nelly carried it out. How did how come all of a sudden they begin to talk about it? Why did they begin to talk about it? Did they find anything out? And who gave them the assignment? Mazenam the Kano did. Now let us continue. Okay. What he mean here? How come that he is actually trying to build a supportive background towards Nelly and those preaching he do? That's why he asked, did they find anything out? And who gave them the assignment? Mazen Nam the Kanu did. Then he went further to support them in their activities. And he actually quoted Mazen Nam the Kanu out of context. That is, I need that part because I remember everything he said in that. In my head, he quoted Mazen Nam the Kanu out of context. I need that complete video. I need it. 
this is very very important if we can get the complete video very very important but for now while we are waiting let us continue with this position but write it down somewhere about where he said he never supported you he never knew when they launched you do he never heard about them announcing you do but write it down we are going to reiterate we are going to come back to it let's continue It didn't only end there. There has been a statement like Biafra is a fraud, Biafra is dead, and scam. And so, I have okay. never... Let me check. You said check the next video. All right. Let's see. There's something about economy. There is, some, there is a relationship between the evils and the Yoruba people that will be found if we take the back. So it's not just for me, it's for everybody. Okay. We want everybody, every school, to go and keep digging, digging, to build it We want everybody, every scholar, to go and start digging deep into the kingdom. As I'm talking to you today, none of all this Almajri era, okay. Thank none you. of all this Almajri era actually have okay i think this one has more this one has more let me save it and bring it i think it has more of but it's not complete also but it has more of what we are looking for you do it has more of what we are looking for let me save it and bring it to you And thank you for your effort. It is not easy. Let me bring this one again to you. For you to know what we are up against. What we are up against is not just, <laughs> it is not just flesh and blood, principalities and power, which is people's propaganda and lies listen and some uh, there is a relationship between the evils and the Yoruba people that will be found if we dig deeper so it's not just for me it's for everybody okay we want everybody every scholar to go and keep digging deep into the kingdom we want everybody every scholar to go and start digging deep into the kingdom as I'm talking to you today, none of all this Almajri Irat, mm -hmm. none of all this Almajri Irat actually have done what Mazin Amdikano as them told. It is not complete as well. You, but of course, you will hear, you will now understand where he is coming from. He said, nobody from Mazin Amdikano structure, nobody from radio biafra or nobody from people like us went to dig deeper to find out what he did represent now if it was complete she will send say it was only the woman it was only nelly if it was complete please if you have more of this video uh please kindly um send it kindly send it while we proceed of course, but you have at least, you know, you are actually getting closer to what we are talking about. We don't make false accusation on people. We remember their activities, we bring it to you, we use it to debunk their lie. Because when you, a liar, if you tell one lie, it will take you millions and millions of light to continue to and uh, along the line you must make a mistake along the line while you are lying you will make a mistake that is what is going on along the line you will make a mistake let us continue let us go back to what brought us here 
Let's go back to what brought be us part to. of anything uh, as part mm -hmm. of the game. Mm -hmm. Does not mean that I was part of Edu or I supported Edu. Let's go back. Have any voice recording anywhere where Simon Ekpa was discussing with somebody about Edu before okay. it was announced? Let okay. the person come forward. Okay. When the issue of Edu, I made a comment. Do you know the reason why she, he is saying this? Let me actually bring you the reason why he is saying this. This issue of he do. Because, and I will tell you why he, he is being proud. Why he is proud to tell you if anybody has any voice where he is talking about he do. They should bring it out. I will bring that video where the reason why he is talking about it now, and I will tell you the reason. Just hold on. Let me get that video where they, they talked about him being the being the mastermind of this he do thing. Let's bring it. Where is it? let's see where you will see that he is they said he is the mastermind of this he do he do game as he called it that when time is right he will declare he do but of course the time will no longer be right it is no longer right that is the reason why which is always he removed him his head and himself from that thing called you do. Where is it? Okay, let's check it in this place named Autopilot. Just a moment. Because when we tell you something is sweet, we tell you how sweet it is. Mm, it should be here. We will continue to keep record for very, very important time like this. Just a minute, I will find it. Because everything, anything you hear people talking about against this guy called Simon, all of them is nothing but the truth. But because he believes he has a bigger platform where he will, you know, brainwash people and turn everything that you debunk upside down, and the, the gullible will believe and will be brainwashed that's what is is going on that's how it looks like he is actually <laughs> you know still in this game that he is playing that's why it looks like he is still in this game that he's playing plus the nigeria government recruited you know boys recruited boys to support him now let's go there let's go there for you to understand as so many of you know that Uwa Sophia is one of the mastermind of you do now Uwa Sophia will tell you now who is the mastermind believe on it too Sam Ekpa is not stupid, he knows what he's doing Sam Ekpa is the person that starts this history teller if it is a lie, go back. Samuel Pan start with the Godomi Godo history, which is he do history. So Samuel Pan know what he's doing. He's not stupid. Okay, now he is the one who started this history teller. Do you know the reason why he is proud to tell you if anybody has a voice note where he talks about you do? 
it is after he because he deleted his old facebook page which has all this information that is the reason why he is so proud to tell you that if there is anybody who has any voice where he promotes you do he talk about you do it is because he deleted that facebook page when he deleted that facebook page there is this page called anonymous they 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 made a position on this facebook page of simon why he deleted it that page has a lot a lot a lot it is through that page i found out he was not a military it was through that page i found out that he you know he's a photoshopper it had a lot that is the reason why he is feeling proud because he know when he was he he believed that when he started talking about this he do nobody was he saving his video or trying to he believed that all of them was deleted with that page he believed that all of them was deleted with that page but little does he know that there are people who keep record but very soon we will bring all of them back to your screen listen have any voice recording anywhere where Simon Epa was discussing with somebody about it too before it was announced let the person come forward when the issue of it do I made a comment I said I don't have problem if people come to be preaching it do I never have problem with that I appeared on their radio when they were launching the radio of it too which is a, as a civilized man I can appear anywhere. I can even appear on radio of Fulani. You see the way they brainwash you. The way they brainwash you. As a civilized man, you claim you haven't heard. You never hear. But let's hear it. Let's hear it from him. Let's hear it from him. He claimed he has never ever appeared where they are talking about you. Do listen. Does not make me a Fulani supporter. I appeared on the Do Radio as part of the game. Does not mean that I was part of Do or I supported Do. My own is that so long as you are not against Biafra and Mazinam the Kano, I will work with you. I will work with anybody until everything begins to get more clearer. So the declare as long as you are not against Biafra or Mazen Namdekan, he will work with you. So that means that Mazen Namdekano's family they are against Biafra. That means DOS as a DOS that is consists of more than 50 members. They are all against Biafra struggle and against Mazen Namdekan. You couldn't work with them. So, this is part of your claim. And as we are here to debunk your lies and to clarify our people who are willing to know the truth who are seeking who are always looking for the truth not those who are relaxed in the lies and those paid agents who are irats irats on the comment section talking rubbish if you're on youtube talking rubbish i will allow you right 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 when you are tired i will just time you out you f off that's it so now let us continue let us continue what's wrong the reason of you do was a direct attack on biafra and the mazin it didn't only end there 
There has been a statement like Biafra is a fraud, Biafra is dead, and scam. And so, I have never been part of anything uh, fronting it do. And I challenge them. If anybody have any voice recording or anything at all that shows that I participated in it do, apart from what you see me doing on my program, apart from what you see me commenting or hear me commenting on my program, let the person bring it, including from the people, the double agent, because it doesn't exist. You know, my own is that uh, uh, when I want to, I said, anybody that is going to betray Biafra and you want to, I am, and I am your target, I will be your last bus stop. It's unfortunate. A lot of people will never learn their lesson. You can't attack me, an innocent person, and you want to destroy Biafra, and you go free. No. Biafra spirit will always be there to fight. It is not my battle. Now, the same thing is happening today in Biafra land. I want to condemn the killing in Biafra land, like I've always done. I think that is where this video ended. That's where this video ended. Let us see from where it is what he was trying to say that he want to condemn. He want to condemn what? What he started in Biafra land. Let's continue. Of it do. I did not know weeks before I knew of Ebu has gone somewhere in their program to announce it. And let me... I didn't see them. And let me tell you, I have no reason to lie. When they were launching the radio of Idu, and you go free. No. The Afra spirit will always be there to fight. Uh -huh. An innocent I person, think this is where we are. and you want to destroy Biafra and you go free. No, Biafra spirit will always be there to fight. It is not my battle. Now, the same thing is happening today in Biafra land. I want to condemn the killing in Biafra land, like I've always done. But that will not even make our agitation or shake our agitation a bit. Because we know that the reason why the Nigeria government and their politicians are killing people in Biafra land is for us to start being scared of Biafra. Oh, if you shout Biafra, people will... Okay, now I want to let us clarify it. I want to, you know, ask you, um, Pierre France, a question. When Mazen Namdekano was was piloting the affairs of the Biafra struggle, when Mazen Namdekano was out piloting the affairs of Biafra struggle, was there anybody? Do, is there any killing such in this mag of this magnitude? Of course, the answer is no. When the DOS took over nine months ago, when they took over from Mazen Namdekano, when he was extraordinary rendition, was there any killing? No. 
the same reason why Mazenam the Kano foresaw what is going to happen. He told us, stop the seat at home. The enemy will use the opportunity to penetrate the Biafra land and start causing mayhem in order to blame it on IPOP. Now, because he was the enemy, he was the agent of the enemy. That was the reason why, you see this guy called Simon, was the enemy, the agent. That is the reason why he started pushing it from there. That you must enforce it at home. You must enforce it at home. Sit at home must be enforced. That you must sit at home. And uh, actually he saw that people were not listening to him. People were not paying attention to him when he started it. What he did was to go and call some members of his criminal militia wings called Adam. To go to Anambara and Wufonwa in Ayakara. To go to Ebenwa, do this one or do this. One. You know, they went and caused mayhem and all over the place. Start killing people. So that the rest of the people will now observe the seat at home by fire, by force. When you heard that neighbor Polomadi is in Anambara or Nimo State or wherever, in the name of enforcing seat at home, then you will sit at home just to, for him to gain relevance. For you gullible idiots who cannot see the, read the handwriting on the wall that he is now killing our people just for him to be relevant. And the same people that he claimed it was Nelly Ofebu and Oyibo was creating, he was the same person piloting them. He was the one piloting them. When they kill one or two, now people become more scared. These KK drivers who uh, know, who believe that they and some of the people who does not believe in what we are doing, who goes to their businesses on that day, they also become scared because our real people who believe in what we are doing, they continued sitting at home in their, you know, with, you know, they devoted themselves to sit at home. Nobody forced them to sit at home. But these keke drivers, some of them are alomajiri also from the north. Some of them, they don't believe in what is going on. What they have to do is that when they say sit at home, they will use a... Uh, when they, since they say they have cancelled the sit at home, our people will sit at home, sitting at home. They, them, they will say, let's use the opportunity to make money. Because they don't believe, they are not from our side. Now these people started with them. This autopilot criminal syndicate and their militia, they started with them, chasing them inside. We, we get to one in a yakara, a woman that is frying akara to make maybe 200 naira for the day to give him aka food. They went to him, the If you remember that time, you know, some you know, okay, let me not go there. So, after those things, people now became scared. Then some of these people who are, you know, you know, Ojisi among, they still come out. Then he started killing. They started killing. They know, they believe that once they kill one, two, three, kill one in Anambara, Imo, Enugu, then every other person will now be scared. For it to be proven that Simon is the spokesperson of Biafra, that was the only reason why he started killing. He want to prove that he is the spokesperson of Biafra. That is the one who will say it, it happens. Because we challenged him that he, he called for economic sanction. No one paid attention to him. He called for Sunday, Friday, sit at home. No one listened to him. Oh, the DOS is live. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, uh, we, we, we are going to connect with them. We are going to connect with them. I never knew they were coming live. But we are going to connect with them. Um, uh, our sister Maria Heather, if you will be able to call in 
in the next two in the next two minutes to give us the information that you want to pass through to us let us pause it there because the leadership there is a information that says the leadership is online let us see if they are already broadcasting then we will bring it in front of your screen so but of course you have heard what we have presented to you because that is how it is that is the way it is we don't push propaganda we tell you the truth okay we can still take the call from our sister if you are still available okay let me call you quickly because maybe i know that you normally call because you will get busy let me call you quickly to lay your input before we connect to the dos because they will be online in the next four minutes probably let me connect you They will be online in the next four minutes. So we have four minutes to go. We have four minutes to go. We will continue with this program. Hello? Yes, our uh, sister Maria Heda, um, please, uh, uh, sorry that uh, I cut you off. Um, please go ahead. I and understand. Give us your, give yeah. us your your input we have four minutes left before we join the dos okay quickly let me see like, how much i can recall all right i just have to write up the back uh good afternoon everyone this is marian hader from the united states i want to start with the this is what i'm going to say to start with this guy is what i'm hearing from east side is catch me if you can there is this series of uh, uh, criminals, uh, uh, this activity that I watched on a, a, a TV show called uh, ID, Investigative Discovery. It's called Catch Me If You Can. That's yes. what he's trying to do. Yes. But the annoying part from, I mean, he's a liar, okay? Because you said, you know, people don't. This guy is a liar. That is a confirmed statement. The only thing that makes somebody like me very, very angry is that. He's a cheap liar, okay? This is some, the issue I have with people. I am, I will never, I'm that person that will never tell anybody I cannot be game or nobody can cheat me. But I'm telling you where you want to do your beat. Be smart about it. I hate it when somebody is trying to pull a shenanigan on me before they even start I'm unraveling them. That's how I see this guy. That's the most annoying thing because what he's trying to prove to us is that we are dummies. Meanwhile, he's the one that is idiot he has no brain because each time he opens his mouth from what he said about andy Uba to even about the human account he continues to implicate himself yes. that is so dumb to eat talking about andy Uba, he knew all these things but during the election he was advocating for him you knew all these things that you were working with him then you try what he was why, why is he why he invoked andy Uba like scenario is he's trying to uh, put a uh, kind of intimidate Soludo, okay? That's the, really what he's trying to do. So you're having that story as a parallel to tell Soludo, if you're not careful, what happened to Andrew Bay is going to happen to you. That, I agree with what you said, but this is something I wanted to add to it. Because when this guy is operating, you're going to take him from two angles because he speaks from two sides of his mouth. Because that's how he's trying to game and confuse people. So I agree totally with what you said, but I wanted to add this that. Why? What he's trying to do again is, you know, uh, if, if what he tried to tell Soludo, you better be careful how you call me out. You better be careful how you call me name because I'm going to send my boys because that's exactly what happened to Andy. You know, so that's what he was, another element he was trying to bring there. 